Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and thanks for joining me. I definitely appreciate it. Guys, I've got a ton of stuff to go over with you. These watches are something special. I mean, first of all, they're getting Sapphire now, which is a pretty big deal. I was shocked to see that. So anyway, let me go ahead and get this stuff out of the way. Again, I've got a lot of stuff to show you. I've already taken one out of its scuba tank case here. Let me see what we have here. All right, this is the Pepsi version. And I'll go over the differences on screen. Normally what I do now is I just have you freeze frame it if you want to see all the specs, but I'm actually going to go ahead and go over all the specs. This is, you know, this is a pretty big deal. Here's just the uh, black dial with the little blue over there for the dive time on the bezel. And what do we have here? I think this is the white dial version. If I remember correctly, there are only two white dial ProMasters, this one, and I think the 30th anniversary edition, which is limited to only 888 pieces. That's got a red bezel. But look at this one, man. And that's got a stainless steel bracelet. This has got obviously a rubber strap and a black bezel. But look at that. I'm normally not a big fan of white dials, man, but something about this one is just fantastic looking. Love this thing. All right, so there, there's three. I think this one is the star of the show, which I've already taken out just for ease of the review. And it is right here. Boom, this is your full loom. This is the rock star of the show. Everybody loves the full loom, uh, including me. Fantastic looking watch. Obviously the loom is just killer on this thing. So let me go ahead and go over the uh, the new specs and you'll kind of see where the differences are. Uh, and basically this is a bigger watch. So if you want something a little bit bigger, it has some different specs on it, but looks pretty much the same as the eight gen. So you basically have four generations, okay? And it's not really four, it's actually three, but let me explain it to you. You've got the four series, which came out in 89. That is this watch right here okay this is the four series and you also have the eight series which came out in 2018 that is this watch right here okay now you also have another generation which is the nine series that had the same specs as the eight series but it came mainly on stainless steel bracelets and now you have the 2020 11 series which is this one so let me go ahead and put up the specs on the left-hand side of the screen for you. You got a 44 millimeter stainless steel case. It used to be 42 millimeters on the eight series. Uh, it's 13 millimeters thick. It used to be 12.6 on the eight series. Lug to lug is 50 millimeters. It used to be 47 on the eight series. And when I say eight series, I'm talking about this watch right here, by the way, get that in focus for you. That's the eight series, good looking watches. Uh, that's basically where they basically redid the four series from the eighties. Uh, and just kind of updated the indexes and all that stuff. So this is the eight series. All right, what else? Uh, you're on a 20 millimeter polyurethane strap, which is much, much softer than the eight series. I mean, this actually feels like one of their dive watches, one of their higher end dive watches. I uh, love, love, love the strap. Uh, the weight is 106 grams, so it's a tiny bit heavier. It used to be 95 grams. Uh, now you get a sapphire crystal. It used to be a mineral crystal on the 8 series and the 4 series for that matter. Uh, water resistance stays the same at 200 meters, which is 660 feet. Uh, you got the Miyota 8203 movement with a 40 hour power reserve. Uh, you get a screw down case back. Now the difference with the case back is the laser etching on the case back is much deeper than on the 8 series. And I'll show you some pictures of that later. Much, much deeper, much more detailed. Uh, just a really good looking case back. Plus you can see the word sapphire right there where my finger's pointing, right there. You still get a screw down signed crown over here at eight o'clock. You get the date over here at three o'clock. As usual, we get the day also over here at three o'clock. It's still windable, but not hackable because they're still using the 8203 movement. That's my only request is that they would change that movement to make it hackable. That's really the only thing about the watch that I don't like. Uh, that's really my only complaint, man. That's it. Uh, you got Citizen's proprietary loom. Uh, the bezel has also been changed from a 60 click to 120 click. So now you can more accurately track your dive times. And of course, there's still ISO 6425 rated for dive watches. So guys, a lot of changes with these third gens, man. Not only some colorway changes, some spec changes. Uh, man, this strap is really soft, by the way. Good grief. Good looking watches. Uh, again, the uh, 4 Series came out in 89. Um, in fact, let me show you something right here. This is my blue 4 Series. Love this watch. Only available in Europe, by the way. Here's my regular 4 that I put on a OEM stainless steel Citizen bracelet. Love this watch. And a little surprise for you. 
I've got a four fully loomed. What? There it is. There you go, man. I'll never sell this watch. I, I, I love this thing. It's just so, so freaking cool. Anyway, a little special surprise for you there. Oh, and also when I got my 8 Series, my blue one, they sent me a little uh, Citizen Promaster Fugu keychain. Look at that. Pretty cool, man. There you go. Promaster little Fugu. Pufferfish. All right. So anyway, sorry, right, they're the little special guests I wanted to show you all. Again, the uh, 4 came out in 89. Uh, the second gen came out in 2018. Uh, again, those were mainly on rubber straps. And let me show you the thumbnail of that review. Another round of second gens came out in 2019. These are mainly on stainless steel bracelets. The same specs as the 8 series, but just mostly on stainless steel bracelets. And that's the one that has the white dial, that limited edition 30th anniversary edition, that's limited to 888 pieces, by the way. Uh, and again, now in 2020, we have the brand new 11 series, again, with bigger cases, uh, different specs, uh, some different colorways, uh, and just a fantastic looking watch, man. Love it. So let me go ahead and show you some macro shots here. I think you're gonna like these. Uh, anyway, here's a close up of the, uh, the dial. Here's another close-up of the dial with the date over there at 3 o'clock. Really legible, by the way. Here's a close-up of that pip up there at 12. Here's your crown. Fantastic knurling. A much, much needed upgrade from the 4 Series. That thing was kind of hard to grip. And they've had this type of crown since the 8 Series, which is back in 2018. Uh, here is the deeper engraving of the pufferfish, the fugu, on the case back. And right here, I'm gonna actually compare the two. Here is the engraving on the 8 series. On the left is the 11 series, the brand new one. On the right is the older series. You can see it's laser etched, but it's not deeply engraved. I mean, it's night and day. Here's another picture. You can see the ProMaster logo deeply engraved on the case back. Here's another picture of that nice etching on this new 11 series. And finally, for the case bag, you see where it says Sapphire right there, limited edition. And I think this is number 30-something, 30 37 of 2000, I believe. Here's a close-up of those keepers, those dual keepers. I always take one of those keepers off, by the way. I never use both of them. Here is a close-up of the elbow tang. I call that the elbow tang because it does such a sharp little turn downwards. Kind of reminds me of like an elbow. Anyway, <laughs> that's what I call it. So there's your tang and buckle. Here's a close-up of the uh, the no decompression limits text. Here is the uh, the ripples for the wetsuit. Basically, what this does is whenever the wetsuit uh, compresses at depth, those ripples help keep the watch on your wrist. They kind of expand and contract a little bit to adjust for the uh, the wetsuit. Here's a close-up of that blue watch I just showed you. That's the eight series. I just love that blue dial. It's super super dark, but I love it. Here's a close-up of the uh, the four series, and if you notice, you can see a reflection of the back hand of the second hand, that little circular pip, you can actually see a reflection in the dial. So that dial's got like almost a mirror finish on it. Here is a uh, close-up of the um, 4 Series fully loomed. Pretty cool. And here's a size comparison shot. You can see that the 11 Series, the one on the bottom, is it, it is, I mean, it's two millimeters bigger. It's a bigger watch for sure, but not, you know, like crazy big. And then I also took a shot of the uh, strap length. Now you can see that the uh, the watch on the right is the 11 series, and the one on the left is the 8 series. So there you go. So there are your uh, some of your picks for you. Hope you enjoyed those, guys. I love this watch, man. Uh, I mean, I love all of them. Let me actually bring out the white. Here we go. Oh man, I've never really liked the white dial watch, but good lord, look at that thing. That is fantastic looking. What do y'all think, man? Fully loomed or white dial? Kind of love them both, man. I might still have to lean towards the fully loomed, though, but I like both of them a lot. Really, really cool. All right, let me go try this thing on. Get this out of here. Oh, the strap is much softer. Oh, I'm so glad they did that. Oh, my God. Really nice. Oh, that feels great. Look at that. Good-looking watches. Of course, I'm going to give you a loom shot here. In fact, I'll go ahead and give you a loom shot of all of them. So you can kind of see what you're looking at here. If I can get this thing off, there we go. All right. Let's bring in the other two. If I can find them. It's like playing whack-a-mole here. 
All right, there's the black dial with a little bit of blue on the bezel. And I think this is the Pepsi. Yep, this is the Pepsi. So we're going to kill the studio light, kill the monitor. Let's loom these things up. All right, you can see the uh, the fully loom's already glowing. Look at that. Wow. That is so cool. God, it almost looks radioactive, man. That is so cool. All right, so there's the fully loomed. What we got here? This is the blue. Now, the rest of these are going to look pretty similar. There you go. What we got here? Here's the white. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That white is fantastic. Wow. It almost looks fully loomed, too, because it shines so brightly, because you got that white dial reflecting all that light. Man, love that white dial. All right, what else we have here? I think this is uh, the Pepsi. There we go. So there you go, man. There is your 2020 11 Series Fugus brand new watches from Citizen. And here is the star of the show right there. This is the fully loomed version. Guys, I love these things. Now remember, the fully loomed, as usual, these are always limited edition. These are only 2,000, and they actually are engraved on the back with the number of the watch that you got. Um, so if you want to get one of these, I would highly suggest that you, you know, as soon as these are available, you, you know, you run out there and get one. So anyway, guys, that's been about it. Thank you so much for joining me. As always, make sure you like and subscribe. Make sure you click that notification bell. I've got a whole bunch more stuff coming up as usual. I've always got watches on my desk, man. It just, it never ends. <laughs> so anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you on the next review. Take care. Bye-bye.